Welcome to the Just Cycle Tips video on gear adjustment. Today we're going to do the front derailleur. For this, we're going to need an Allen key set or a multi tool and a Phillips head screwdriver. With, we're going to release the tension from the front derailleur. Do this, put it into the lowest ring, the lowest gear. Find the barrel adjuster on the shifter. Just turn that clockwise all the way. So we've got loads of free play in the cable. Now we can start on doing the limits. So put your rear derailleur all up into the first ring. I'm going to focus on the lower limit to start with, which is the screw next to the L sign. And what this screw does is it, it determines how far over the derailleur is allowed to go. Um, so it stops your chain falling off into the frame this way um, and it's, it hopefully stops your chain from rubbing uh, on the derailleur as well. Um, so it basically prevents over and under shifting. So in this case um, what we need to do is we need to get the chain to run as near to this derailleur as possible without it rubbing. So at the moment it's fairly close. Just back this out to show you. So what we're trying to achieve at the moment, there's quite a big gap between the chain and this side of the derailleur. So it doesn't rub, but equally, at the moment, it, there's a possibility it could undershift and you'd be left with the chain scraping against your frame. So to prevent that, we're gonna tighten this screw to so turn it clockwise, which brings the derailleur, you'll see it literally move this way. And we're gonna do that until it just starts to rub on the mech. And then we're gonna back it out a tad. So now that's rubbing on the derailleur. If we just back it out about half a turn. Now there's a gap between the front mech and the chain, and that's your lower limit set. So now we're gonna work on the higher limit which stops the chain from going too far this way, overshifting, um, and it stops this side of the derailleur rubbing on the chain when in the highest gear. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna to wanna to go to the highest gear on the back. Let's do that on your shifter, obviously. And now we're just gonna tighten up the cable a bit so we can actually get the shifter get the mech onto the highest ring. It's going to change up. So to set this one, the same principles apply. We want this side of the derailleur to be as near to the chain as possible without rubbing on it. And to do that, just pull the derailleur towards you. So that's at the maximum the, the uh, cable will pull it. And uh, actually that's fairly good. But if, this, if the derailleur came further this way and uh, the chain came off, what you can do is just tighten the higher limit screw like so. And that brings the derailleur in. Um, if, the, if the derailleur starts to rub on the chain here, um, with it pushed all the way this way, it can do that if your cable tension is too loose. So you just push it and that's as far as it will go. And if the, if the derailleur is still rubbing on this, on the chain, then you just back out the higher limit and that should address the problem like so. Obviously double check that the derailleur is actually on, on straight and so on because these these limits won't work unless it is. And that's a higher limit set. Now we can move on to the cable tension. So what you're looking to do is to shift with relative ease onto the second ring, like so. And for the derailleur to be at the correct tension to set up the middle ring, 
It doesn't want to be rubbing either this side of the derailleur or this side of the derailleur. So we're just going to change through the gears and make sure that it's not rubbing either side at both extremes. So it's actually rubbing on the lower, on the lower ring. So we've actually just got to back out the cable tension a tad. You do that on the barrel adjuster located on the shifter. Let's turn that in a couple more turns. And now that's not rubbing. And we'll just double check it's not rubbing on the outer one, which it isn't. And now we can move up onto the third ring. And again, we're just looking, the chain might start rubbing when you get to the lower, lower chain rings up top here. But it's acceptable for it to do that because the chain's actually crossed at that point. And this one's actually set up. It's not rubbing either side, so that's set up. If it is rubbing either side, so if it's rubbing this side, then the derailleur needs a bit less cable tension. If it's rubbing this side, it needs a bit more. And that's how we set up the front derailleur.